hello everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe if you are not welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for your continuous support i hope you guys are feeling hashtag travelific if you guys are here it's either because you are outside of jamaica or you're planning a trip to jamaica whether you are a resident or a non-resident of jamaica it is now mandatory to fill out the jamaica immigration and customs form online this new system came into effect on the 1st of September 2023 and as such all travelers as I mentioned before residents of Jamaica meaning that you are from here non-residents meaning that you're just coming here for vacation it is a must that you fill out this form online you can complete the form up to 30 days prior to your arrival in the country it's a must this is so to eliminate the use of the paper that you normally receive on the plane and sometimes i know that a lot of people forget to fill it out and then you have to stop and you have to do it when you arrive it's a lot and it's very very stressing so i think this is a good way to move forward eliminating the use of papers so let's get into it so the major question that a lot of travelers have is where may I go to access the form online? The form is available on PICA's website at www.pica.gov.jm as well as Jamaica's Customs Agency at www.jacustoms.gov.jm and you click on the online passenger declaration form logo to gain access. Now, as you guys can see here, people also ask you guys can see beginning september 1 travelers coming to jamaica will be mandated to fill out the immigration form online it will replace the paper document that was issued or that was previously issued to travelers jamaica citizens are required to present the following documents to the immigration of the jamaican passport and so forth the online version of the Immigration Customs Declaration form will allow air passengers to input their information in advance. You guys can read all of this on your own time, but today I'll just be showing you guys how to find it and how to utilize it. So as you guys can see, it's right here, jacustoms.gov.jm. I guess you can click on the link right here and it'll take you to the website. so this is what the website looks like if you're not here you're on the wrong page a lot of persons are charging i saw an article the other day that persons are charging 35 us you don't need to pay to get it done i mean if you are traveling and you're just looking for somebody to do the work and they just don't want to then that's okay but if it's a not know how to basis i'm going to show you guys how to so this is the online passenger declaration form and you're going to click anywhere in here and you gain access so you just need to click on it and you get access so there is nothing hard there is nothing difficult so as you guys can see at home about us trade divisions what's this a school the world documents and forms carriers contact us blah 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 so this is what you need so you're going to click anywhere there now it says that you're required to complete email verification before continuing. Please insert a valid email address. So right here, you're going to insert an email address to continue. So please ensure that you add an email address that you have full access to or access at all. You need to ensure that you have an active email address because you'll be getting a code that is vital for the next step. So you're going to click on continue and it's going to take you here it says you are required to complete email verification before continuing at top you see it says code sent to email you're going to have to put your verification code here so what you have to do now is go over to your email and check for that code so this is what the code looks like when you get the code you're going to get an email from c5 dash online um the subject will be picker enter jamaica c5 online token it's going to say that you should use the verification code to continue filling out the enter jamaica c5 form it says that if the code does not work copy and paste the following which is the code and you should be able to gain access so we're going to click on verify code and continue 
Upon continuing, this is what you'll see. It says, Welcome to Jamaica Immigration or Customs C5 card. Each passenger is required to complete this form. So if 10 persons are traveling, but there's only one parent, you guys are still supposed to have a form for everybody. So regardless if you are traveling with a spouse, if you're traveling with a best friend and you guys have a same e-ticket or you guys have a same ticket, you all need different forms. So each passenger is required to complete this form as you would the normal form, okay? So right here it says personal information. So you put your first name, last name, sorry, your last name, first name, middle name, date of birth as it appears in your passport, your gender, your family members with you, contact information, um, confer, um sorry, address, passport number, country of issue, internet address to stay. Flight name, flight number, departure port, travel date, the purpose of your visit, length of stay, number of luggage, number of packages shipped. Um, this is like the declaration part, and bringing whatever. Um, sports or children on the age accompanying you. Um, if you are in doubt, declare all your goods to customs officer, and you submit the form. So I'm gonna show you guys, and we're just going to fill some information, and we're just going to, you know okay guys so you're going to put your last name here as you guys can see right here at sparkle first name zakelia middle name christina date of birth as it appears on your passport so if you were told that you were born on let's say you know how in jamaica a lot of persons they don't know their date of birth and they say oh my mother said i was born on this day you're going to use whatever is in your passport so you're born on the 16th of November 1997, whatever your date of birth is, you put it here. I'm a female, you can select the option of male right here. How many persons are traveling with you, family members with you, you can say zero, one, two, blah, blah, blah. But I'm going to say, let's say one person is traveling with me. No, you need to enter your contact info or your address. We have 121 Portage Street, wherever you live, that's what you put here. I just put Kingston as a city and Kingston as a state because Jamaica doesn't really have states. Doesn't have states. The zip code, I just put five zeros. Um, the country is Jamaica. That's for the country of issue. And I put Jamaica. There are many other countries there, whatever the country is, of the of that issue the passport that's we put. Then it asks for your occupation, and right here I have telemarketer. Ask for your passport number. Right here it says as it appears on your passport. I have C1234567. No, that's not a real number. It's just for demonstration purposes. Country of issue is Jamaica. As it appears on your passport. These are all information that you can find in your passport and information that you should have. Where are you planning to stay when you arrive in Jamaica? Are you staying at a hotel? Are you staying with a friend? Do you have a house here? Do you live here? Are you originally from here? Wherever it is, you're going to put it right here, right? Where you see, I have 121 Pretty Street. If you're staying at a hotel, I guess what you could do is go online, research, find out where the hotel is located and put the address here. You can put the hotel name in brackets. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I'm not really sure about the address, but just for demonstration purposes, if you guys are not staying at a home address, you're staying at a hotel, you can put like Royalton Resorts, Put this in brackets, it will not allow you to put brackets, I just put the dash. And let's just say this is where it is located, 56 Mountain Spring Highway, Trelawney. That's what you're going to put here. So this takes care of the aspect of where you're staying. Um, This is, hold on. Where did you visit in the last six weeks? You're going to put that here. So if you're a traveler or a frequent traveler and you went to some countries, then you can put them all right here. I can put more say you went to Canada you can also put that right there right which airline are you using you're using Delta this is your flight number which is 4516 you leave your departing from Miami International Airport and you're traveling on September 8 2023 what is the purpose of your visit are you visiting friends you're going for vacation it's a business meeting you're in transit you need to access Jamaica to go somewhere else you're a resident of Jamaica work honeymoon what are you doing okay so if you're a resident you click on that say so will not ask your length of stay 
if you are going for vacation, it's going to ask you how long you intend to stay. If you're going for work, it's going to ask you how long you intend to stay. If you're visiting friends, how long are you staying? If you're going home, it's not going to ask you that. So this is going to automatically gray out and you can't add anything there because you're going home. So let's just say you're going for a vacation. Okay. And it's going to ask you, how many days are you staying? Let's just say you're staying for seven days. How many pieces of luggage do you have? Let's just say you have two, and it says check, check luggage and hand luggage, sorry. Number of packages shipped, you don't ship anything. So it says I'm bringing fruits, plants, flowers, pharmaceuticals, illicit drugs, narcotics, radioactive or nuclear substances, arms, ammunition, explosives, work and currency or monetary instruments over 10,000 or equivalent. I have goods exceeding the value of my personal duty allowance, duty free allowance. I have gifts or articles for resale. Now, if you are doing or bringing any of these, you're going to check it. I mean, I mean, people are not going to say, oh, I'm carrying drugs or I'm carrying this, but I mean, no, that's what you're going to select. No. So you're going to select no for everything. Um, then you're going to scroll down and it says spouse and children under age 18 accompanying you. So we say that John Doe is accompanying me. He was born in 1995. On June 14th, he's my grandfather. So we're going to try. So it says that if you are in doubt, declare all the goods to custom officer. So if you're not sure of something that you have is of value, this value should be priced or paid in payable in the country of purchase. So if you're not sure, just declare everything to the customs officer. Just click on submit form. Now I'm not sure if it will submit because, as I said, the information is just for demonstration purposes, but let's try. So here it's asking, are you sure? Please review your information before submitting. This is all they're giving me. So I'm going to select, I agree, and submit. No, we don't know if it's submit. It says there are errors. So let's check for those errors. It's just this zero. Is that the only error that we're having? That's the only error. So we're gonna go again, and we're going to click submit. We're sure that we want to submit and we're going to click yes it's going to process so it says all done thanks for submitting your c5 form online please check your email for confirmation and then you're done you just click ok and it brings you back to the page that you can start a whole new process i hope you guys understand and if you guys have any questions you can comment below again please go ahead and subscribe to my channel and thank you guys so much bye